away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day. You rolling? All in your Oh my god, I feel so weird with this makeup look. Why? Because it's something that we need to come a little bit closer. It's something that I don't really do. It's beautiful. Uh, I love you like this. Okay, yeah. are we rolling? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a very special guest. Bonjour! Meet Gabriella. She is a French uh, model living in, in Italy. And we're both pregnant, if you don't know her from yeah. Instagram or YouTube. I'm two actually weeks. 32 weeks, so it's getting closer. The big push is coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although Gabriella lives in Italy, she's in Paris for a few days and we were thinking about doing a video together. And I'm so happy that she found the time. This is the makeup look that I came out with. It's very soft. I wanted to do a smoky eye that um, is wearable anywhere for a cocktail, for a night out please follow uh, Gabriella on Instagram and on YouTube. She's doing you, a lot of YouTube videos now with her husband talking about pregnancy and not only. Yes. They're so cute and fun, so make sure you follow her now. Let's get into this look. Yay! Yeah. So I'm going to start with the La Mer, the treatment lotion. Did you change a lot your skincare routine since pregnant? I'm dry since I'm pregnant. I yeah, don't know same. if you got this like... Same. My hair are dry. I was so disappointed. Same. I was hearing like, oh, you're gonna have gorgeous hair, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. My hair had never been so damaged and dry. Very dry, that's fine. Uh, Very agree. dry. And yeah, I put heavier creams. Like I need to have like full on heavy creams on. Otherwise I feel like the, you know, Sahara desert at the end of the day. <laughs> also in the belly, what do you? I'm trying, but I cannot tell you what, what which one works, of but I'm trying so many things. I love, love, love this um, oil that I just received. It's called Bio Oil. Ah, yeah. The, you know, I heard so much about it. A lot of the girls that I know used it and didn't have stretch marks, so it probably means something. There are people who love it, people who don't. Mm. Now I'm going to use the Revitalizing Hydrating, Hydrating Serum from La Mer. I'm going to use all La Mer on you just because I love the level of hydration. Oh, it smells so good. And um, I have the eye cream of La Mer and I love it, I have to say. The eye cream actually is the only thing that I do not use from La Mer. Oh yeah, why? Yeah, because I love the one from Sisley on clients. Uh, I never I never tried it. I love how it performs under makeup. Mm. My god, this is so relaxing. <laughs> I have to say that I'm going to learn from I'm going to try to learn from you today because every time I do my makeup, I mean the everyday makeup that I'm doing is so cakey. Like, I don't know how to take off my, to make me look fresh without make me look like I have tons of stuff on my mm, face. I think you're being hard on yourself. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I have to put some because when I wake up and I look at my face, I'm like, this is not okay. <laughs> we oh. need to fix something there. If this is not okay, <laughs> then I don't know who else is okay. <laughs> So I'm going to do actually the uh, intensive revitalizing mask from La Mer and this is more like, um, it feels like a lotion. Let me show you guys. Mm. You see it's very liquidy um, and the way you want to apply this is just, you know, at the end of your routine. Uh, this is what I heard from, you know, the specialist from La Mer. This is how they... So yes. it's a mask. It's a mask, yes. You could apply it in a very, you know, thick layer. Of course. And then uh, massage it into the skin or apply it in a very thin layer. Mm. Like I'm going to apply it now. It's it doesn't have like a heavy. super yeah. exactly heavy texture that no, sometimes no. masks have. And I literally massage it everywhere. Mm, that's great. And then we're going to pat it. I'm loving this. You're now 32. 32 weeks. Yeah. The oh baby's God. the size of a pineapple at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's it's getting intense. I mean, it's wonderful, but at the end of the like the last month, you really feel like, oh my God, this is really happening. And, you know, you get a bit more tired. Like, honestly, like if I could, I would literally sleep at eight every night. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. What stops you to not... Sleep work. It. <laughs> You're still working at yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. 
work and then I need to feed myself because I'm always hungry, you know. <laughs> it's like when you get into the third trimester, it's like you're becoming a food monster. Like you never are full. You always can eat oh, wow. something more, yeah. <laughs> It's also continuing when you're breastfeeding, when you're breastfeeding because, you know, you, you need, you, you you're need burning the, energy yeah. a lot. You, do you want to breastfeed? You don't know yes, yet? Yes, I yeah. do. I mean, if, if, if it's working. If it's yeah. working, yeah. Okay, now we're going to use a little bit of this La Mer soft cream. So it's not the super, super heavy one. You just apply mask, you know, you apply moisturizer. Well, this is going to act like... Um, like a sealer. It's gonna seal all the hydration in and I promise you it will not feel um, oily. Now I'm gonna use this Sisley. This is one of my favorite eye cream because not only that it hydrates but also looks amazing under makeup. So for me, you know, as a makeup artist, it's super important to have something around the eyes that will hydrate but that will not make my product slip and melt and just look weird. The place where you want to apply your eye cream is on this bone right here to relax the muscles. Okay, now I'm going to use the La Mer V lip balm. <laughs> That's how they call it. Mm -hmm. I feel like my lips are much drier since the pregnancy. Oh my God. Not just the skin, like the whole Everything. thing. Everything, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I've prepared in here my foundation and my concealer. Find everything in the description down below. So I um, decided to use a color that matches, you know, most of the skin. She is a little bit lighter in the center. Like very, very light movement. I'm uh, spreading the foundation everywhere. Do you see me like out of breath? Yeah, Just me from too. talking. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> I I'm, didn't do anything. <laughs> this is the this is the pregnancy. We, we are out of breath all the time. Yes, yeah. it's so weird. Now, now if I take two steps, I'm gonna be like, <sighs> and also I breathe really heavily. Like you can hear me breathe. Yes, you know. Same, Yesterday same. I was talking about this to my husband. I was like, can you hear me breathe so strongly? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, everything's fine then. It's because. It's, all the organs are going up, so your pulmons, yeah. they're getting tighter, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna apply some uh, concealer. So after I've applied the foundation, I, I've uh, continued with the beauty blender just to take the excess off. I never used a beauty blender in my life. You only use brushes? Yeah, it's so bad, but... No, it's not bad, it's just a way you're, you're used with it. There's nothing bad with it. You know what? I love how you just put concealer and it's already giving structure to my face. A little bit of concealer, a little bit of foundation, it will already be enough to, mm -hmm. you know, for you to get ready for the day. Like, you don't really need a lot. Plus, you have dark hair, dark eyebrows, so you're very contoured. I feel like people who have... Uh, you know, darker features in terms of yeah. eyebrows and hair. They don't it's need much, much. Yes, it's much easier. I mean, it's not that they don't need much. It's like the more you do, the less is good. Exactly. Okay, so I've applied the concealer and then again with the beauty sponge. So I've put it under the water, give it a few squeezes. And um, now, can you look up for me? Thank you. Of course. I just take the excess off. Whenever I'm doing a makeup look that is supposed to look good in pictures, but also in real life, I love to use both brushes and beauty blender because the brush will, you know, build up the product on your skin, but then the beauty blender takes the excess. Gonna be using some Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, and this is Intensity 1. We were just talking about the Chanel bronzer because she wants to try it, but right now her skin is pretty tanned, so it's not gonna make a huge difference on her. And since that, you know, the product is only available in one single shade, it, it would be a pity. So I'm I gonna think, definitely go for this one. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Also, I love that it's creamy because otherwise when I put powder, 
and I'm dry already. It really make everything feel cake, you know, yes, in real yes. life. But also, you know, with with makeup, it really depends on what you're trying to do. Like, mm. you're doing makeup for pictures, you're doing makeup for videos. Like, it's very important to know uh, where you're gonna use mm. that. Yeah, of course. When I do a red carpet, I don't want to be oily. I want to be course, like you be matte. full on matte and powdery, yeah. so I know it's gonna stay in one place. <laughs> My God, my first red carpet, I will always remember. I had such like, you know, natural makeup in real life. When I walk into the red carpet, it really looks like nothing. I was coming out of my bed. <laughs> and after that, I was like, not anymore. <laughs> I will not do that mistake again. And also I had my hair down and it was Venezia humidity. I was looking like a little mess, honestly. <laughs> I looked at the picture and I was like, what? Hours of preparation to look like this? <laughs> Man, your accent is... I mean, uh, everybody tells uh, you, I guess. Wait, I, it depends. French people insult me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, my God. All the time. Yeah, because I'm... Uh, they're not proud of me, you know. They don't want me to represent the French accent because it's too strong. Um, but honestly, I lived in London. I lived in America. I tried to speak with, like, you know, an English accent, but people would not understand what I was saying. So I was like, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to speak <laughs> as I speak. Pick my but yeah, I have a very st strong accent in... English, but also in Italian. So, you know, I guess there's nothing I can do. So now I always do the step, you guys know. I just make sure the concealer didn't crease because, you know, you do have a lot of fa facial expressions. We talk, we laugh. So it's normal for the concealer to actually crease if you don't set it. Now I'm gonna come with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And as you can see, I do tapping motions like tap 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 i don't do swiping motions because that will disturb the the concealer underneath so it's very important to take very small steps don't apply a lot of powder from the very beginning do it in layers that's what makes it uh, look a little bit more natural and what what this does to the it sets the makeup for it just the day set, exactly it sets the makeup for the day and how do you do that and not make it cakey? So, honestly, it's the quantity. Okay. If you have a heavy hand, <laughs> meaning you apply a lot. a lot from the very beginning, then it will look cakey. If okay. you just do, you know, a very thin layer. Okay. Uh, and then you apply more when you need it. The thing is that the, the makeup actually, in my opinion, looks much better after about one hour you apply it. If you apply too much powder, let's just say you apply too much. Normally I would use this at the end, but I I want to use it right now. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. You don't have to apply too much and I try to hide to cover the eyes and only do it mm. you know, on the sides of the face. And already it looks so much better. I'm gonna use this palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Obviously, this is for makeup artists, but you can find each color individual to buy it, and it's usually available in Sephora. You guys know where Anastasia is available. I'm gonna take medium brown and lightly fill in the brow. I'm gonna take this powder puff to lay my hand on my face this way I don't touch the makeup like so. I'm gonna use this uh, 24 hour brow setter a gel from benefit it's gonna discipline the, the beautiful brows okay. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna use this Tarte Cosmetics. This is uh, the Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep as a base for my shadow. This is nice and warm and we wanna do a very pretty smoky eye. So this is gonna help a lot. I never know what to do with my my face. 
Well, it's because you don't experiment, you know, of mm. course, a lot. True. I mean, when I put my little eyeliner, I feel if I really feel like I'm, you know, prepared, no? It's like my special makeup. You're ready for the day. Exactly. This is, uh, little... You know what I would like to try next time with you? The oh. inverted... Uh... Ah, the cat eye. Oh my god, yes. I never saw it on myself. I'm super curious to see how it would look. Now I'm going to take this Tom Ford brush. It's a blending brush. And make sure there are no harsh lines. Blending the edges. A bit of powder with the same brush. I'm going to take this Makeup by Mario. This is the Max Master Pigment Pro Pencil. The perfect brown. And I'm going to line the lashes. This is such a creamy, beautiful pencil. Like, I love this. Okay, so now I'm extending this. Let her look in front. And then with the with the pencil brush, this is a 219 from MAC. Blend it so it's less harsh. Yeah. Close. And then I took a little bit on the pencil and I'm going to apply it in the crease. I want a little bit of color in the crease, but not super crazy. I'm going to be using this palette from uh, Makeup by Mario. I'm going to mix these two colors and get it at the outer corner I don't want to have a very visible line of where the pencil is Yeah, you're super soft also, so it's really like having a massage. I mean, with the eyes, honestly, you cannot really be. True. But you guys, it's so funny. You guys look alike. You know that I heard that a lot. Sometimes people were asking if we were brother and sister, and I was like, that's so creepy. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's crazy. Apparently, we do. I take it as a compliment because I think he's the most beautiful man I, in the of world. Of course, because so, he's very, very handsome. He's handsome. But he's, he's, he's beautiful inside and out. Like, that's the you thing. You could tell. He's yeah. a very kind man. So, so kind, so generous, so. You know, curious as a Gemini, but like, you know, also super like responsible as a Capricorn. Now I'm taking a blending brush, a clean blending brush, and just make sure that the edges are nice and smooth. I'm gonna use this Makeup by Mario palette, taking this color right here and getting it everywhere. Just gonna bring more light. Okay, then I'm gonna take the same pencil that I've applied at the beginning of the makeup look and get it very softly on the waterline. Yeah, I like this look on you. I love brown in the waterline. Makes me feel sophisticated. I'm applying 
mascara. This one is from Lancome, the Ibnos. I'm going to clean the lips. So beautiful, your lips. Thank you. I got it from my daddy. Really? Yeah. I have the same lips as him. I'm using this pencil from uh, Kier Vice. This is in the color Bear. I think it might be a little bit too pink, actually. Let's see. Mm. I like it, but I think I'm gonna mix it with something. Let's do this Honolulu Honey lipstick from NARS. Did you have a chance to see your family during COVID? Right? They came here. How good. My mom came here. I'm gonna use some NARS uh, bronzer. Every time I use cream products, I like to set them with powder. So just a little bit of powder bronzer. And I'm using this Benefit blush. I really love this color and I think it complements the lipstick. a little bit on the app of the cheek a little goes a long way do you use the you the week by week app for the baby no which one do you use it's called i mama i mama mm -hmm. just like e mama see every week it's telling me the fruit of the week it's telling me what's happening inside no i just uh, i read um Every week I read some pages from what to expect when you're expecting. And that's good. Ah, that's great. I heard it's amazing. I'm gonna use a little bit of this highlighter from La Bouche Rouge. This is La, La Lumière. Okay. Wow. Now I see what you mean. It's really, really beautiful. Love this it. highlighter. All right, guys, and. This is the final look. <laughs> you haven't seen yourself. Let me look for a mirror. I mean, I'm seeing a bit from the screen and I have to say that I'm loving what I'm seeing. <laughs> I definitely did not wake up like this. <laughs> My God, this is so beautiful. I mean, when you told me that this was great on the video, I have to say that it's fucking amazing also in real life. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna come here every day now. Please do. <laughs> Please do. It I mean, is I'd love to. Amazing. I love it. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. You guys don't forget to follow Gabriella. Uh, she is on Instagram and also on YouTube. Yes. Where you do a lot of videos with your husband and you guys yes. are like the description of love and like the most the thank cutest you. couple thank talk you talk about everything and you're also super funny and he's funny too he's the best it's we are like the you know the french italian couple and i love doing videos on youtube with him because he's so funny and he's like no it, we have a good time doing it thank you so much for watching thank you and i'll see you guys in my next one bye